This video is sponsored by PotownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. You're looking for the latest booster packs in town or that specific code to complete your deck? This is the website for you. Use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your complete order. Also, this video is sponsored by CardMarket.com. This is a European platform that I personally use every single day. You can buy and sell cards to people all across Europe and it's easy to do so. So definitely take a look at CardMarket.com if you are a European player. Next sponsor and the last uh, of the bunch is going to be YourPlayMat.com. This is going to be the website if you need to create your custom playmat. Everybody wants to have a unique playmat. You can design and upload images onto this website and create playmats from the get-go. Definitely be sure to check it out if you're interested in buying your own playmat and use the coupon code zabdostcg 10 yp to of course get 10% off your next order. Anyhow, enjoy this video. Thanks for uh, watching through the commercials and I'll see you in a couple of seconds. Peace! What's up with you? It's Zandos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG video on my channel. As always, you get daily Pokemon TCG content on this channel, so be sure you are subscribed. Today we're going to be taking a look at all the GX cards throughout history and uh, we're going to be ranking them in a tier. First of all, I want to give a huge shout out to Little Dark Fury for providing us with the link for, of course, uh, this wonderful tier rank maker on tiermaker.com. Uh, tier and uh, GXs have been introduced in the Sun and Moon block. You remember Sun and Moon base all the way up to Cosmic Eclipse. GXs will finally be leaving the format on September 10th. And uh, as a celebration, uh, we're going to be ranking all the GX cards. And I actually experienced all of these GX cards uh, because I've been playing for quite a little bit of time. And uh, that means we can uh, honestly give you my opinions on how good they actually were throughout history. So if you guys are excited for this video, be sure to let me know by destroying the hell out of the like button uh, because it helps out the channel in many ways. And without further ado, let's just get this adventure started. I'm uh, eager to just rank all of these First of all, we're going to be showcasing, as you can see, there is bazillion GXs uh, that have been released. If you are a collector, you probably have a lot of them. As you can see, there's GOATS, the greatest of all time. There's Tier 1, Tier 2, Rogue, which sometimes can see play, but yeah, probably is not like the best GX ever, and then there's Trash. As a little example, we have this uh, random Pinsir GX that never saw play. I think it was uh, in some sort of a product. Uh, released uh, that nobody actually uh, used in deck so it was for beginning players so that is trash as another example we're going to be getting our good friend um, ADP and we are gonna be dragging them all the way to greatest of all time because probably the best GX out there uh, also tag teams are part of GX's by the way so we have tag teams which are specifically basic Pokemon and the regular GX's actually are Pokemon if let's say a Charizard GX it has to evolve into it from regular Pokemon which is something I really like for just GX mechanic and also GX Pokemon had those wonderful wonderful uh, GX attack uh, Jolteon is a tier 1 GX, it's a very great GX, I've played a lot with it Electro Bullet, we have Swift Run GX, who remembers those days uh, for a tier 2 GX, a tier 2 GX, where should we go? And also this is uh, based on the standard format uh, when they were legal because I, uh, are, I'm not too familiar with Expanded and that's why my uh, opinions come from tier 1 and tier 2 and all that uh, from the standard play. Also, this is very easy, the Danny GX is also greatest of all time. Putting it over here, so we're gonna be ca coming across some tier 2s and uh, rogues uh, very very shortly. Uh, let's see here, tier 2, I think Greninja GX uh, is a, a very nice uh, tier 2. This was used as a counter with Mistlash to have answers against wall breakers in the past against Caldeo GX, uh, but in the future like against stuff like Altaria and Decidueye, so interesting for sure. Okay, then for Rogue, uh, what was Rogue? Uh, um, Rogue is actually a low on Sand Slash, that's very Rogue, but I really like that card. So uh, as you can see, we're going to be ranking them like this. So. Uh, what we already have is a uh, greatest of all time. I think I will focus on the cards that are very good, like Charizard Flare Blitz is uh, definitely a tier one card. Mewtwo can copy the attack, so that's why it was so good. So uh, Flare Blitz and talking about Mewtwo, we're gonna be uh, yeah, we're just gonna be taking some cards. <laughs> Zoroark, <laughs> who can remember? Who remembers Zoroark? The greatest of all time, probably better than the Dany. Yeah, this was bonkers. Maybe even better than ADP because when uh, ADP got 
played, there was a lot of counters and all that, but, but with Zoroark, there was so many Zoroark archetypes out there, Zoroark, Lycanroc, Zoroark, Galissapod, so many uh, stuff for sure. Heatran, this is a tier one, tier one GX card for sure. A really, really great card. I think it's, uh, I saw a lot of play at the World Championship with Shintaro Ito in the, the, sh the finals, so that was very cool. What else do we have? We're gonna be uh, getting some trash GXs uh, across the field. So uh, this Mewtwo, unfortunately not good. This Wigglytuff, this Onyx. He's, they all never saw a play, to be honest. They're all trash. Ooh, Solgaleo, who remembers this one with Turbo Strike? Oh yeah, this is definitely a tier one GX. Very, very great. Very great card. Uh, tier two, the uh, Bird Trio. Moving forward. Dustnor Trevenant, I think is also a tier 1 GX, is very great and will also get better now with Cresselia with Chilling Rain format, still have a, a little bit of Shining, so, so many GX cards to choose from, it's ridiculous. I'm gonna be putting Picaram uh, to um, greatest of all time as well, seems fitable. So uh, these are like the best GXs you've ever seen. We're gonna be focusing on those first, like Mewtwo, same story. Because those are very, very easy to just put on. The CGY Feather Arrow was very good during its time, so tier 1. Lucario, tier 2. I personally think this uh, was very good. I played this at the World Championship. Lucario with uh, Frost Lass, of all things. What else can we see here? Espeon was tier 1 during its glory days. Who remembers Espeon GX with Garbodor? That was some funky days, right? Laurentis, was this tier 2? I did see people playing Laurentis here and there. I think it's more on the rogue category of all things. Okay. Then there's a, a, a Gyarados, which was trash. <laughs> so many like cards, uh, GXs that I actually haven't seen before. That means they are not good. Feromosa. Oh, yeah. Feromosa. I, I'm going to be putting it tier 2. And standard, it actually do didn't saw a lot of play, but I expanded with fast rate. We did see some crazy things happening with that card. Feromosa GX. Also, this is my personal opinion. If your opinion is different, be sure to let me know in the comment section. I'd love to get a discussion started. Umbreon. Is it, was that Rogue? There was a Umbreon deck at the regionals at one point that actually did quite well, but I really don't want to put it in trash. So putting it in Rogue, this Umbreon. Moving forward. Incineroar, this was also rogue, it's it's not trash because it did more damage for every fire type on your bench. Let's put it in rogue as well. Uh, cards that I want to be putting in trash, maybe that is a, a nice way to go about it. So we can uh, move the field up a little bit. There's a lot of great tag teams by the way. The tag team mechanic was, uh, this is trash. Whimsy, uh, actually it's um, Wishy Washy GX, that's not good. Now that I think about it, like most of these cards are not good at all. So I don't even know if I should rank them uh, separately. Pri Primarina, I think it was also trash to be honest. Maybe on the higher end of trash then. <laughs> what else? Espeon Deoxys was tier 2. Was played for a little while when uh, the first turn supporter rule was not changed. So you could use uh, a welder on it on the first turn. Tapu Bulu GX was great during its days with Vika Vault, so that was cool. Cool stuff. Gardevoir, tier two, it's all a tier two deck. Guardian, who remembers that, man? Crazy days. A Venomot, this was the rogue kind of things. Not trash, but rogue. Yeah, this Pikachu, what did they do? Not a lot, but again, it in trash, unfortunately. All of these weird stuff, cards that have never actually seen play. Jirachi GX, it's a tier, solid tier 2. You need that to get rid of your psychic weakness. Still seeing play in Urshifu decks nowadays. Rather than a lone executor. Yeah, definitely a tier 1 uh, card. It still sees play in nowadays. I think it's probably going to be better like this. Yeah, right. GX cards. Let me know in the comment section how many GX cards you actually have. Zerka Tree, tier 2. This was very fun. Walling off with, uh, if the opponent has special energies. Very, very cool. Volcarona never lived up to his hype uh, potential, so uh, it's a, a rogue deck. Sometimes people play Volcarona, but it's not utterly trash. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Reshi Rom was also a rogue deck that never saw a huge amount of play. Bear Tick GX, or actually Beware GX, trash. Eevee also never lived up to the hype, the Eevee decks. 
Should we put the Eevees in uh, Trash or in Rogue? This Mewtwo also is uh, a Trash card. This Charizard as well. They look very crazy. This is from uh, Detective Pikachu, by the way, if you were wondering. Yeah, Oracorio, tier 1. I like this card. Not the greatest of all time, but a very great card to let you draw a card. Still sees play nowadays. Dance of the Tributes. Cool. I'm getting so many flashbacks. It's unreal. Tier 2 Lapras. Lapras was fun. Who remembers the Quad Lapras decks of Sun and Moon? Uh, Mawal. I think this is great. It's the same category as Oracorio GX. Okay. So many tier 1s. Shove some at uh, tier 2 Turtonator. Turtonator was fun. Shell trapping. That was cool. Also had a crazy Jax move if I'm uh, if I remember that correctly. Okay, Tapu Lele belongs in the category greatest of all times. Yeah. Probably like this, right? Probably like this. Crap. These Jaxes were actually really bonkers. Wonder how you guys feel about uh, GX is leaving the format. Uh, right now it's gonna be all V Pokemon. Soul Burst GX. Saw play a little bit here and there. I'm gonna be putting it in tier two. Their memories are like, when they are really, really crazy good, I put them in tier one. That's how we do things here. This Shining Legends Mewtwo is trash. I'm sorry to say it. Saw a little bit of play also in Malamar, so maybe it was Rogue. To say the least, to slap like 200 with three energies. Let's put it in Rogue. There's a lot of Mewtwo GXs, by the way. I've actually never seen that. Entei GX is trash. We never saw it being used. Lycanroc saw a little bit of play to do that with Energy Denial with that Crunch attack. But entirely, it's probably going to be Rogue. Was it Rogue or was it trash? We can still uh, move some from the... Uh, Rogue category to the trash category, it's possible. Slow Duck was super rogue. Super rogue, but super fun, nevertheless. Lucario Melmetal, tier 1. Not the greatest of all time, but still very high up on the tier 1 ranking of these GXs. This Raikou never saw play, I'm putting it in trash. This Lunala, putting it in trash. When they never saw play, yeah, this Starmie saw a little bit of play and Mewtwo decks with the. Uh, yeah, putting it in this card pile so it's rogue. Okay, moving forward. Flareon was also rogue. Same story. It was a great card since you can use it in the discard pile with... If it's in the discard pile with your uh, Mewtwo GX with the perfection ability. This Reshiram never saw too much play. You, you might think people would be playing uh, stuff like Kiawe onto it, but it never saw play. Unfortunately, it's a high end of trash, to be honest. If I'm uh, offending some of your feelings for these cards, I'm sorry. This is just uh, my personal opinion. Flygon was actually also a rogue deck. At one point, it's actually pretty well. Charizard, a high end. Is it the greatest of all time? In the past, it was Kiawe. Now it was Wilder. Still sees play. Ever since the card was great, I'm putting it here on the big boys here, the greatest of all times. Like this. Yeah. These were the best GXs ever printed. These were very good. These tier two, yeah, I'm feeling good about this. Dragonite, solid tier two GX that you can use if it's in the discard pile with Mewtwo and Mew. So lots of GXs on their own are not good at all, but thanks to Mewtwo, they are actually being put in tier two. Same goes for this Megalopony and Jigglypuff. Keldeo, this was at one point a tier one annoying card. Now it's not as good anymore, but if I remember correctly, People hated being up against the Pure Heart ability. I even won some games in Sheffield uh, with my Quagnag deck just because I had the Kaleo and people didn't have answers for it. Okay, Lycanroc. Oh, I remember Lycanroc. Definitely tier one. So, so much fun with Lycanroc GX and the dangerous uh, Rogue GX attack as well as Bloodthirsty Eyes. We get the ability back in an Umbreon V Max, which is cool. Ho-Oh, solid tier two deck. Who remembers Ho Oh Salazzle? On the other hand, let's put Salazzle on there as well. It was a there was a deck on their, on their own, but of course uh, you go first. You go for Ki Yahweh on the first turn. You could play supporters back in the days, and then uh, Ho Oh Ki Yahweh and uh, Salazzle was actually a very inter interesting deck for sure. Still a lot of GX cards out there. This Charizard was unfortunately trash. It was a Charizard, so it was nice. Uh, Altaria was a tier two card being put in Mewtwo decks with the. Uh, 
bright tone so it cannot get attacked uh, yeah from GXs I think which was interesting this Raichu saw some play with nozzle it was very rogue though very very rogue the nozzle deck it was at one point one person getting into day two with Raichu which was interesting Serena trash Reshiram this Reshiram also never saw too much play I think the other one was better the Zekrom Eater they're not even rogue I didn't even see them at all on, on the table so unfortunately I'm gonna have to put them into the trash that's uh, something I don't want to be doing but yeah it is what it is from memory okay Garcham, Giratina, Tier 1, this is good, it was a very great, even an expanded, uh, it's actually saw a huge increase in popularity and uh, even won some tournaments. Yeah, Raichu and Alolan Raichu, this is like the bread and butter for a Picaram deck, you need that. Latios also was a Tier 1 card which blocked tag teams in general, which is crazy. Yeah, we have a couple of them to go. Buzzwall. <laughs> Greatest of all times. Should we put it here? Strong energy was available. We had choice band back in the days. Tier one. I rem remember this as a as long as Boswell was around, it was a tier one archetype. So uh, putting in the greatest of all time as my memory uh, claims that uh, Boswell was so good. Yeah, there's a uh, trash cart over here. Is uh, Cleffa, Iglybuff, and Tog Togepi GX. Never saw play to be honest. Drumpa, solid tier one back in its days. I know power creep has happened, but thanks to memory, I'm still putting them on their respectful uh, position. Uh, Tapu Fini was seeing play, uh, actually saw play with uh, the Tapu Storm GX in uh, Greninja Break decks. Who remembers those days, right? Whimsy God, solid rogue deck. If you are not afraid of power plan or anything, if you want to be using those abilities, it was a fun rogue deck. These tier 2 cards are solid, okay. So moving forward, Dark Box. Dark Box actually saw a little bit of success at the World Championship. So all the cards belong to Dark Box in the form of like Umbreon, Darkrai, Tag Team GX, Sableye and Tyranitar. All these cards actually saw a little bit of play. So we're putting it them on the uh, tier 2 slot. And on the other hand, Weevil is also one of these cards that moves around all of the uh, darkness energies on your field. I don't even know where it is right now, but yeah, here it is. Weavile, gonna be putting that as well in uh, the tier two. This is like Dark Box. Saw a little bit of success at the World Championship. I think it was a player from the United States getting even top 16 with Dark Box, so it actually deserves the recognition. Yeah, Vikavolt GX was utterly trash. These uh, genies also never saw the light of day in successful decks, unfortunately. Same goes for this uh, Zygarde GX. I know there was a card, Bonnie, allowing you to use a GX again of your Zygarde, but that didn't even put it on the map. Uh, Alolan Gra uh, Golem GX from Crimson Invasion was also trash. Blastoise was rogue. Saw play in uh, the Water Mewtwo deck with the Rocket Splash. It was actually pretty interesting, nevertheless. It definitely was. Yeah, putting these over here. Okay, we have made our way quite a bit. Who remembers Ultron Acrosma as a tier one deck with uh, none other than Malamar? Yeah, those were the days, right? Those were the days of Malamar, crazy. Leafeon never lived up with the uh, Grand Bloom Jax. I had so much hope for it when it actually got revealed, but unfortunately, it's also trash. So there was, it was not all... Uh, very very good to say the least let's see here Gengar Mimikyu still strong and I will uh, see an increase in play with none other than Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX so Gengar Mimikyu Horror House Jack super bonkers Scizor trash Scizor was trash Kartana very cool tier 2 card that uh, I love using for my last prize card who remembers Blade GX taking the cheeky prize card I love that doing that I also had a way to slice off special energies Super crazy. Galissapod, tier one for sure. I, I have fond memories of Galissapod. First impression going from the bench to the active 120. Uh, Tor Rakliff put us on the map on the internationals and London. So uh, deserves to be on tier one for sure. Sylveon also tier one. I, ha I annoyed this deck. Magical Ribbon. Don't want to ever see anything like it again. 
Okay, solid tier 2 deck, Sceptile, play this and Harrogate at the regionals uh, to some decent success. So Sceptile was actually not a bad card, not a bad card at all. Okay, we have moved our way, there's not a lot of them available. Blacephalon, yeah this was just bonkers, I'm just putting it at the greatest of all time, this was insane. This Blacephalon, I don't know if you, yeah you, can, you cannot even see it, let's just swap it over with Boswell. Yeah, Blacephalon, crazy crazy. Yeah, maybe we should, um, yeah, you cannot see all the cards right now, so maybe we should just move it down a little bit. So we can see all the cards, yeah, this is this is a little bit better, right? So yeah, Blasophilon, Burst GX, and uh, he also had, of course, Mind Blown with Beast uh, Rings and all that good stuff. It was fantastic. Look at all these GX, we still need to do Gardevoir, solid tier 1 GX. I know Power Creep is around, but during its days, it was crazy damage output, that's for sure. Okay, so as mentioned, big shout out to Little Dark Fury for creating this uh, yeah, list. Buzz Moza, solid tier 2 card. Beast Game GX, love doing that. Taking an additional prize card. Evelto also is a solid tier 2 card. That uh, of course has Doom Count GX. Saw some play with Spirit Tomb, I think Luke Morsa from Celio's Network did pretty well with that. Gumchoos GX, I think this is trash. Snorlax was trash. What else can we see here? This is a tier 2 Charizard, or is it Rogue? Probably just tier 2 Charizard with the uh, Brilliant Flare. So it's scouting out cards from the deck. Glaceon, Super Rogue. Was immune from damage from specific Pokemon, but never actually did too well. Tyranitar GX, trash, although some people used it with Mewtwo a little bit. Macargo was a solid tier 1 card. Not only could you use it to have energy acceleration, it was also used in mill decks with uh, Belalba and Bryson then back in his days. Who remembers those? Macargo GX, great card. Porygon Z, trash for me. <laughs> that even rhymes. Rogue, Venusaur and Snivy sometimes could be uh, an uptick so you can gust or 50 on everything. Was interesting. Lugia, solid tier 2 card, which allows you to put cards in the Lost Zone with the Lost Purge GX, but also had some damage output by its side. Saw some play in Greenzard decks and also in Control archetypes. Rayquaza, solid uh, tier 1 card with the uh, yeah, Dragon Break attack and Stormy wins. Rayquaza will be back, don't, don't you worry everybody. Rayquaza will be back with a Vengeance with Rayquaza VMAX. Okay. We're gonna be making some work, wishy-washy. I think it's trash. Dragonite, trash. Kingdra. I still think all these cards that I don't even remember are trash. So uh, let's just put them all in there. Caracosta was a little bit rogue with Mewtwo, but on the other hand, probably deserves to be in trash as well. Nigaligo, poisoning stuff. Unfortunately, also trash. Alola Ninetail, solid tier two card. Ice Pad GX, cool to copy uh, the damage on yourself to the opponent. Guzzlord was a rogue meme deck, but people loved it like crazy. Guzzlord Naganadel, solid tier 2 deck, still sees a little bit of play nowadays with Ends Resolve and some rogue stuff. Another solid tier 2 tag team is uh, Lunala and uh, Solgaleo. These actually combine forces. Articuno, I'm putting it in the uh, tier 1 because of the uh, crazy memories I have, because of Cold Crush GX and the way that uh, control players discarded all of your energies. I really didn't love that. So, uh, Sigalith was a crazy rogue tech card against Picaram Mirrors with lightning weakness. If you get damage, you can uh, yeah put the damage on the opponent's uh, Pokemon as well. Verizion, Breeze Away, some saw some success with um, Obstagoon, so I'm putting it here on the rogue category of all things. Okay, there's a lot of cards we still need to check out. Blaziken, unfortunately, was trash. Uh, yeah, what else? Alolan Muck, probably Alolan Muck GX, also trash. I never see, saw people playing that. Aerodactyl, solid rogue deck. Fossil decks were also very nice. Venom Shot, solid tier 2 snipe uh, card in your deck. Yeah, for Mewtwo decks, for sure. We have a Celesteela, which was trash. There was a Taurus, which at one point was actually pretty good, putting it in tier 2. Put it, play that in my Eveltal EX deck back in the day. Yeah, that's a long, long time ago. Zero Aura providing free retreat is very, very good. This is a tier 1 GX for me. It's a card from Lost Thunder. Suicune GX, trash. Zygarde was rogue and saw some minor success because it was able to uh, reutilize its GX move with Bonnie. 
This is a solid tier 2 deck with the uh, Duskmane, the Necrozma Jack, who remembers that with Magneton, if I'm not mistaken. Stack Attacka tier 2 deck with none other than the Nagnadel as well with the... Although this Nagnadel is probably going to be tier 1 just because of Alexander Pero. Yeah, I don't even know who actually put this on the map. But uh, yeah, we had of course these um, Checkmate decks. Yeah, these were crazy. Okay, we had tier two deck, a tier two card with Dawn Wings, the Crows, my flying in the active position. It was fun. Electrode and uh, was super rogue. You could blow it up to get energy acceleration by your side. Mr. Mimes were trash in all formats because people are just putting choice bands on their, their Pokemon and then winning games instantly. The magic and odd number prevent them from getting damage from even or odd numbers depending on what you had. Ampharos, trash. Uh, so many great GX uh, artworks that actually were trash. We had, of course, a tier 2 uh, Celasaur deck. Who remembers that? Celasaur. That was awesome with like uh, the Shamans that could heal 20 HP. Alone Executor was trash. The uh, Raul Egg was very good though. Metagross at one point was a great deck, putting it here on number 2. You had Max Potion back in the days. Imagine if we get Max Potion right now. Macham GX is trash. Neuvern, super rogue card, and also an expander with double dragon. You can shut some stuff down with that. Yeah, solid tier 2 card. Vile Plume, just because you can reuse uh, the attacks with it from Mew to a Mew perfection ability. <laughs> yeah, Kamo OGX, utterly trash. Mar Shadow is saw some minor, actually great success to counter Zoroark, but an expander is also very good, so it's a tier 1 GX in my book. Zorwar Greninja, putting it in the tier 2, although in Expanded this is more play, tier 1, lower end of tier 1, why the hell not, right, just having some uh, minor stuff, tier 2, Incineroar GX is your one uh, hit GX move with Mew to Mew, if you get damaged it's gonna be crazy, Shift Tree, so trash, Pipstoys, Rogue, people tried it out but it never worked, Hoopa saw some uh, rogue success at Worlds as well in the Dark Box deck. Yeah. We are almost here, fellas. Mimikyu. Mimikyu. Saw some playing Guardian decks at one point. Higher end of treasure, I guess. Alo, yeah. Alolan Ninetales, scouting out items. This was a tier 1, tier one uh, GX in my book. Silvalli. Gyro unit. Yo, putting it in Rogue was not like the best deck. There was a Silvella deck at one point at the Internationals that saw some minor success. Xerneas also a Rogue card that was seen playing Guardian decks. So these Rogue stuff, sometimes cards you see popping up in decks or just decks in general, but never to be seen again. Banette at one point was actually pretty good to counter Basel. Was putting it in the lower end of uh, Tier 2. Gyarados was other trash, so uh, yeah, even though it had like 240 HP for stage 1, it was good. Necrozma, yes, high end of tier 2, this was nice. Prismatic Burst, people use that all the time. Okay, Magikarp, Waylord, Super Rogue. I did use a Towering Splash GX to win a game against Stefan Ivanov with my Quagnac deck at one point, I will never forget it. Probably also has a have a vlog of that somewhere on the channel. Tier 2, Silvalli, drawing cards, was, has always been good, will always be good. Hunchcrow, never lived up to its hype, it was a rogue uh, thing to just put the opponent to zero card hand. Duststone was interesting to use it, but never saw the light of day. Chuckle, also saw some stats with Gustava Wada, if I'm not mistaken, as its own little rogue uh, control mill deck. Okay, Salamence. So minor success in specific deck, but I'm gonna be putting it in the higher end of trash because people, yeah, same goes for uh, this um, Mel Metal, lots of trash. Persian, solid tier two uh, GX that allows you to get two cards from the deck if uh, one of your GXs got knocked out. So we saw a lot of play. Tapu Koko GX, this was my main card, putting it in tier one here. This was awesome. This was like absorbing all lightning energy and then go for the Tapu Thunder GX. Won a lot of games with that with my Zapdos Lucario deck. It was crazy. Gemisect, trash. Okay. Palo, <laughs> the Palo Sand, trash. Toxapex, trash. Okay, moving forward, we have 
Uh, Celestila also trash. This is actually a, is that a reprint? They both were not good. The, the, there was one that allowed you to check out your prize card, but that's about it. Lunala was a rogue, just moving around your energy's max potion. Was clunky though. You had um, Kiram, White Kiram, GX, also trash, unfortunately. Greninja was a rogue deck with uh, none other than uh, Meganium and um, Nido Queen, if I'm not mistaken. So you can uh, infinitely like loop this, get this in play with the Meganium, healing it off because it goes back in the deck with its attack. I love the Greninja deck. It was super uh, original, Eevee. Going to put the Eevees, not in trash, but in rogue. Same goes for Vapor Vaporeon. I did saw Vaporeon at the stream at the World Championships. I don't even know if they got into day two or not, but Latios GX. Latios and uh, Latias Tag Team GX is one of those trash GXs that never saw the light of day. There were better options out there. Snorlax, at one point, saw some play with Kiawe, so uh, putting it here on rogue, of all things. You, do you don't see that very often. Cobalion is also a rogue tech that uh, people use to uh, use Iron Rule Jack so opponents cannot attack the following turn. Yeah, this tier 2 cat uh, shut down tag teams, uh, Pokemon with special energies and more, so that was interesting. Interesting, the Alolan GX. Eradicate was rogue. I did see some people play this, was it with Mewtwo or something? A Galaxy Mewtwo, something like it. So you can attack for free energies. No energies ne necessary. Darkrai. Instant KO of the opponent is affected by a special condition. <laughs> that was a rogue. I, I saw people play this with the Salazzle that burned the opponent, I think. Yeah, Alolo Muck. Interesting card. Could be played with Mewtwo, could be played with Malamar. There was options for this one. And uh, also being used as a tech card, so putting it in tier 2. We had the Dialga, where of course Magnazone and Energy Acceleration to reuse. Um, the attack, or actually, you can use the Jax move and then he can attack again, which was interesting to win games. This Lycan Rock saw some play with Dracapult, lower end of tier 2, and then uh, Machamp. I don't want to put it in trash, let's put it in tier 2 as well. It was interesting to say the least with Karate Belt. And then Palkia, shuffling all of the energies back at one point, was great with Quagmag, so it was on the rogue end. So, yeah, we made our way through all of the GXs. So big shout out to Little Dark Fury for uh, creating this tier list. And um, my other conclusion is uh, Zoroark was probably the best GX out of the bunch. I think then ADP, followed up by Tapu Lele, Dedene, Mewtwo, Picaram, Reshazard, Blacephalon GX, and Boswell GX. These are like the best GXs that we saw. Then we have Tina Chomp, Luke Metal. There's Heatran GX, Galissapult, Ultra Necrozma, Makargo GX, Gengar Mimikyu, Tapu Koko GX, Raichu Laurel, Raichu Rayquaza, and uh, all the rest is um, also saw him play at the top table, so that's why they are respectfully here. Maybe you can think about like Zoroark Ninja, but as a little bias for Expanded, we put it in here, or well, otherwise we put it, put it in uh, Tier 2. Tier 2 are uh, also decks that popped up, Dustin Main Necrozma during the Sun and Moon days, Malawar with his Necrozma, uh, Ho-Oh, Salazzle stuff with Kiawe, Lapras, the Stack Attack, a Beast Box deck, uh, Ninetales, also saw some play with Aqua Patch during its uh, lifespan, Guardian, some tech cards from YouTube, Matagross was a great deck, Dark Box, so the tier 2 decks and cards are here, even Saptal and uh, the Salazar deck, and then a Rogue, uh, a little uh, or Sand Slash sometimes <laughs> is amazing, but you didn't see that very often. These are decks you don't very often saw when they were out, when they were playable, you didn't see them very often, so that's why they are in the rogue category. And then there was a lot of trash available to us, and uh, yeah. Other than that, there was a lot of GXs that uh, sticked out the, in their competitive lifespan until they are rotated, so that's cool. So anyhow, hopefully guys enjoyed this video of us ranking all the GX cards in existence. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. You can destroy the hell out of the like button and it helps out the channel in many, many ways. I thank you very much. If you uh, have been around for the entire video, uh, be sure uh, to subscribe because I'm gonna be posting more content. Chilling Rain content is almost upon us and uh, there's going to be some great things happening for us. We're gonna be uh, playing with uh, new Chilling rain decks we're gonna be opening up some packs it's gonna be fantastic so uh, anyhow have yourself a fantastic rest every day i'll see you guys tomorrow with more pokemon tcg epicness i'm out peace